How's it going, everyone? Maximilian here, bringing you a Moab gameplay using the L86 LSW light machine gun. And during this gameplay, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the severe adjustments they made to LMGs in Modern Warfare 3 as of late. Uh, as you see me die, this doesn't start, start out very well, but um, it does get a, end up getting a little bit better, trust me. Uh, but as through this video, uh, it's, it's crazy. Like, these guns were absolute garbage tier for the longest time, or pretty much until the recent patch that came out not too long ago. It's kind of restored my faith in LMGs. Um, before, or as Modern Warfare 3 first came out, LMGs were bad because they, they slowed down your, um, your movement speed heavily, and a lot of them are pretty inaccurate from full distance. Uh, the thing with LMGs is that you have to, depending on how you're standing, depending if you're prone, you're crouched, or if you're in full stand, it really concentrates how the fire is, uh, how, how you shoot the gun, and how concentrated the bullet, sp bullet spread is. If you're prone with an LMG, the thing, the most LMGs, especially this one, turn into a freaking laser. It, it's absolutely crazy, so it kind of takes a little bit of, a uh, little bit of conditioning to get used to using weapons like this, especially for the fact that you're lacking movement speed. And all things considered, if you go up against a guy who's got, like, an MP7, and you're running around with an LMG, Fat chance you're gonna win most of those fights, but um, I still, still still think it's challenging and they did something recently to make the weapons better So as we were talking about the reason the guns were so bad before is that you you lacked the mobility And you had these certain conditions you had to meet to like make the guns pretty good But all in all it wasn't worth it and they they would give out the same if not worse performance than most assault rifles if anything like the uh, the big benefactor of these weapons was the fact that they came with a lot of bullets. Uh, and that's not really the case anymore. They gave them a pretty big buff recently. More so, the LMGs now are now up to par with some LMGs in Modern Warfare 2. More notably, I'd say the, uh, the RPD. Now, the RPD in Modern Warfare 2 was one of my favorite guns, and for a lot of people it was as well. It lowered your mobility, but man, if you got somebody within the reticle, it, there's a fat chance that they were living through that gunfire. I think up close, the, uh, the RPD could actually kill people in two bullets, and that's actually the same for another LMG now. The M60 will now put people down within two shots up close and three shots from a distance, but for the majority of these weapons now, it no longer takes like four bullets to put somebody down from distance. You can actually hose an opponent with gunfire, with LMGs now, and put people down within three shots almost from any distance. And there's some crazy things too, like even with silencers, silencers do not negate the damage, so you have to learn how to, or ne negate the distance to damage, so you have to learn how to use these weapons with silencers because it's just a free perk, it's just a free thing that you get with these guns. And I started using the Specialist, as in this gameplay, with uh, the L86 LSW. And I found it to be a really good, good gun uh, to use with a silencer and to use for a specialist package. Sure, it's it's a lot harder to be mobile with these weapons, so you're not going to have like the most offensive of gameplay. But you do become pretty effective, especially from that mid to long range. If you go full auto and you're standing up, you'll notice it doesn't work very well. But I'm actually going to save a lot of those details for... Um, for later when I fully break down the uh, the LSW weapon because I think as of right now it's my favorite LMG in the game but as I was saying through the patch they they gave the significant buff to almost all LMGs that they increased their damage most of them will drop people in three bullets from any distance and a lot of them if you stick a silencer on these weapons it does not decrease the damage at distance so that means even if you have a silencer up close or far it doesn't matter it, people are going to drop in three bullets no matter what so I like using things like Stalker and stuff like that to make you a little bit more mobile. But um, if we start comparing these things to LMGs of the past, like I was saying, the majority of LMGs in Modern Warfare 2 were total garbage, but the RPD was amazing with stopping power and was one of my favorite guns. If we look back to like Call of Duty 4, the original Modern Warfare, I think uh, LMGs in that game were kind of like a mixed bag, but the RPD was great and it suffered a little bit of the damage issues um, that the weapons kind of had in this game, pretty similar. But I actually toughed it all the way out. I got all those, those headshot challenges, and I ended up getting my uh, my gold M60 in Call of Duty 4 just because I was, like, collecting gold guns back in the day. And in, in that game, man, gold guns were not easy to get. You had to get, like, like a few hundred headshots with each, with each gun in order to get gold, and it took some time. 
Um, but I think the this weapon is probably most comparable to the saw, I believe is what it was called in Call of Duty 4. The saw was the one that had the highest rate of fire. It was it was spitting out bullets bullets to the maximum and it would put so many out, but it wouldn't do that much damage. But the amount of sheer lead that you were putting into a certain area and gave you so many multi-kills. Like I can't even believe like certain maps like the one that was on top of the um the on top of the tanker that was the mimic of the first level. I, it's so funny, I forget the names of the original Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare maps. But in those situations where you had corridors, like pretty heavy choke points, the amount of lead you get with an LMG is really beneficial. And especially in games like Modern Warfare 2 where people will just blindly rush in, the more bullets, the better in situations like that. And you'd be surprised, like having all these extra shots will really help. But it was, uh, it was hard to say if it was the same thing in Modern Warfare or, the, or Modern Warfare 2 for the fact that you had to like prone or be in a crouching position to make the weapon more effective. I'm really not too sure. Uh, you can tell that I'm being a little bit more careful in the gameplay right now because I realize I'm pretty deep into this, uh, into this kill streak and there's guys all around me that I can hardly hear. Uh, but I've definitely got this area on a lockdown right now, and if you if you have control over a position that you know the enemy will be at a disadvantage of, like right there, I, I saw the grenade and I saw the fact that there were a lot of targets as a result of marksmen being on, and I chose to pull out, like even right there too, just get out of dodge. Uh, might as well not even engage in the fight because you're probably not going to win. So playing the weapon to its advantage is more likely how I like to say this stuff, especially when it comes to guns that are a little bit more difficult to use. But there's the Moab, 25 quick kills using uh, the L86 LSW. And this was actually one of the first few games I just tried using the Specialist. And I don't get Moabs very often, but when, when I do, it's kind of a special occasion. And then all of a sudden, when you're using a new gun like this, it's kind of a... Uh, Kind of a pleasant surprise, so give it a shot. I'm going to try to make a full breakdown of the L86 LSW to give you guys a, uh, an understanding of what are the best perks and what are the best loadouts to use this gun and why it's now good in Modern Warfare 3. But thank you all very much for watching the video. This has been Maximilian, signing out.